Welcome to this week's edition of the ClarkCountyToday.com news podcast, your source for the top stories in Clark County, Washington. In today's episode, we'll be covering the most significant news stories of the week. So, let's dive right in. Our first story this week centers around the recent shooting incident near Evergreen High School in Clark County, Washington. The incident has shaken the community, and parents are demanding increased security in schools. Many are calling for the reintroduction of school resource officers in schools, a role previously provided by the Vancouver Police Department. Funding issues led to the removal of these officers, and there's also criticism of the district's handling of the incident. This event has reignited the debate over the presence of resource officers in district schools, and discussions about bringing them back are ongoing. In light of the ongoing debate about the presence of law enforcement resource officers in schools, we want to hear from you. Visit ClarkCountyToday.com and cast your vote in this week's poll on this important issue. Your voice matters, and we encourage you to share your opinions. Plus, don't miss the opportunity to send a letter to the editor at ken.v at ClarkCountyToday.com. Clark County is currently facing a significant disruption in its networks, affecting essential services like first responders, courts, and elections. The county has not disclosed specific details about the breach, which has been ongoing for five days. The Department of Homeland Security had reportedly warned the 911 dispatch center before the incident occurred. Investigations are ongoing, and the county is committed to maintaining transparency and communicating any sensitive information breaches. An investigation into the death of Battleground Police Sergeant Richard Kelly has been completed, with the cause determined to be a combination of fentanyl and methamphetamine. The Vancouver Police Department conducted an independent investigation, concluding that his death was likely intentional. This tragic incident has prompted changes in department procedures and a focus on supporting individuals dealing with substance abuse and mental health challenges in the community. The Vancouver City Council unanimously approved the Vancouver Urban Forestry Management Plan resolution, with the goal of achieving a 28% tree canopy by 2047. This initiative, currently at 21%, requires significant investment to plant the necessary 124,900 trees. Concerns have been raised about potential tree loss on private property and the quality of trees to be planted. Specific action items will necessitate funding and staff resources. On a statewide note, while national FBI statistics show a decrease in violent crime in the United States in 2022, Washington state is experiencing a different trend. Violent crime numbers increased by an estimated 1.06% during the same period. The Washington Association of Sheriffs and Police Chiefs reported a rise in murders, violent crimes, and property offenses in the state. These statistics indicate a unique pattern of rising crime in Washington, contrary to the national trend. And now, a heartwarming story. Clark County Youth Football, CCYF, is celebrating 40 years of providing a community-centered program for local youth. With 57 teams covering various age groups and localities in Clark County, CCYF's mission is to teach children to love the game of football and provide opportunities for them to play. The program emphasizes safety, coaching training, and fostering a sense of community among players. Over the years, CCYF has played a significant role in the success of high school football in Clark County, Washington. Many players who went on to achieve success in high school football got their start in CCYF, which emphasizes teaching young players fundamentals and keeping them involved in community teams. This has contributed to a string of high school football achievements, including state championships. That concludes this week's news podcast from ClarkCountyToday.com. We hope you found these stories informative and engaging. Remember to visit ClarkCountyToday.com for more in-depth coverage and updates on these and other important news stories in Clark County, Washington. Thank you for joining us, and stay tuned for next week's episode.